Junior Power Kids, welcome to the clubhouse. I am so happy to be able to tell you another story here today. Remember, all month long, all August long, we are calling it Say Cheese, right? So I've got my handy dandy camera here, my God made me camera that I am remembering that it's Say Cheese Month. Now remember, when you get your picture taken, a lot of times people say, Say Cheese, because they want you to smile, right? Well, we are calling it Say Cheese because all month long, we are learning about how God made us and he loves us so much. And that should make us smile really big. So today, we're gonna tell a story while we're gonna talk about something straight out of my very favorite book called The Bible, that's right. And whose book is the Bible? God's book. And how many books are in the Bible? 66, you guys are so smart. And it's broken into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. But before we start talking about our uh, story from the Bible, I wanna play a, a special game with you. So I'm gonna describe something and I want you to try to guess it before I pull it out of the bag. Are you ready? If you're ready, clap your hands. All right, so. This is something that is hairy and um, likes to play fetch maybe and likes to hang out with humans and maybe likes to chew on a bone. Can anybody guess what it is? That's right. It's a dog. That isn't a, this dog so fluffy and cute. I love dogs. All right. Next. It hops. It eats carrots and it's very fluffy and fuzzy. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a bunny. That's right, hop, 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 hop. I love bunnies. Last but not least, oh, my bunny hopped away. Last but not least, this one is one of my favorite animals and it has crazy hair. So that's my number one hint. It has crazy hair and it looks like a horse, but it's striped. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a zebra. Aren't they the coolest ever? I love how creative God was when he made animals. So speaking of hair, that's actually what we're gonna talk about today. So these animals all have hair and most of us have hair, right? So my hair is brown and actually very curly. That's why it's always pulled back to keep it under control. Everybody's hair is very different and very special. And you know what? The Bible tells us that because God made us and God loves us, we are so important to God. In fact, we are so important to him that he knows exactly how many hairs are on your head. Isn't that amazing? And on my head, on everybody's head in the whole world. Isn't that crazy? If you think about it, like every day, you have a different number of hair in your head, right? So when I wash my hair, a lot of my hair comes out. Maybe when you brush your hair, some hair comes on your hairbrush, right? Well, guess what? God still knows every single day, every single moment, exactly how many hairs are on your head. That is amazing. You must be really important to God. In fact, you are important to God all the time, no matter what. So that means you're important to God when you're mad and maybe in a little bit of trouble. You're important to God when you're sad and feeling alone. You're important to God when you're happy, when you're silly. You are important to God no matter how you feel or if you're making good choices or if you're making bad choices. And this is a big one for preschoolers and kindergartners. God loves you and you're important to him if you're at the front of the line or in the back of the line, right? So we don't have to worry about that. We're important to God no matter what. It is so amazing. We are important to God when we're awake, when we're asleep. He is always watching over us. He knows how we feel and he loves us all the time. That should make you smile. Can you say cheese? That's right. God made us and we are important to him. See you next week.